Hello, my name is Chloe Folan Clairvoyant, and you are listening to Rape Path Productions here on A1R Psychic Radio and Moonstruck TV. As always, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to everybody who's taken time out of their evening to listen to the broadcast live or to watch the live broadcast. And I would also like to extend that warm welcome to everybody who intends on uh, catching the live broadcast after it's aired. A very warm welcome to you as well. And it's always appreciated that there are people out there because I get emails and calls and texts all the time. There are people that do deliberately like to sit down and make time to watch the show, whether it's during a live broadcast or after the live broadcast. The feedback is always very appreciated and always lovely to know that people are getting what they need out of the show, that it's providing good information, that it's providing good support. Always very good to hear back. On that note as well, I just wanted to bring up, because I did put a notice on my website and my social media pages, I think it was the end of last month I put up the notice, that at the end of the month I will be on maternity leave. So even though I have put notice up about it, I am aware that some people might not be aware because it's not something I'm, you know, shouting about like that people are seeing me in person. And of course, you know, people know. And then I did put up notice on my website and like that. It hasn't been very obvious here on the show because my producer, Dave, has been keeping the camera south of the sorry, north of the border, as they say. So (laughs) no one's been seeing the tummy. The tummy slowly expanding. So I am in my third trimester of pregnancy. And the reason I'm bringing this up is especially when I put notice on my website, I had an influx, which I'm incredibly grateful for, of people contact me going, can you please fit me in for reading? Can you please fit me in for healing? And what I have been doing is I've been keeping a cancellation list And if I am getting people rescheduling or cancelling before I go on maternity leave, I have been going through my cancellation list and making sure I'm able to offer those places to other people. But just in the last two weeks, especially with the notice I've put up, I've received a huge influx of queries over uh, bookings for readings and bookings for healings. And due to the high volume, It is taking me about three to four days sometimes to reply to emails, calls, texts, and people contacting me on Messenger. So I just wanted to utilize my show to extend apologies that if you are someone who's waiting to hear back from me, I'm not ignoring your emails, calls, or texts, but with the high, high volume of queries that I've been getting, I'm finding it impossible to sometimes reply to the emails, calls, and texts on the same day. So if you are waiting to hear back from me, I will contact you back. I always like to be able to sit down and reply to people's contact with me properly and professionally. Uh, But unfortunately, if you have contacted me in the last week or two seeking an appointment, unfortunately, I will be replying that I don't have any appointments available before I go on leave, but I will be offering time slots for when I am back. So we will be returning to work after maternity leave. So like that, if you do want to make a pre-booking with me when I am back from maternity leave, please feel free to do so. Because at the moment, my first two weeks when I am back are starting to book up as well. Please do keep in mind that I do have an international client base and I do tend to book up two to three months in advance anyway, regardless of a panic with people realizing that I'm going to be off for a couple of months for maternity leave and the influx of queries, which I'll say again, I'm eternally grateful for. But if you have contacted me in the last week or two, please do have patience with me. I always reply personally to the queries that I get, but please have some patience with me with replying currently. It is taking me about two, three days to get back to people. If you have been querying over an appointment, my apologies, but I do not have any gaps before I go on maternity leave but I will offer you times and dates when I'm back off maternity leave. And I do my best to not leave people stuck. So if your query has been about a reading or about a healing, if I can't do anything for your appointment wise, I always do like to still give advice and be able to point you in the right direction. I don't like to leave people hanging. I don't like to leave people without support. 
So I can either recommend on a colleague or I can recommend on someone else to see while you wait for me to come back off maternity leave. So like that, I always do my best by people, but please do have patience with me and please do understand that when you are contacting me, it is me you're contacting directly. I don't have a receptionist. I don't have an assistant and nor do I want one. I like the fact that when you contact me, it's me you're talking to, no matter whether it's messenger, email, call, text, or anything else in between. When you are contacting me, it's me that's seeing your emails and your requests, and it's me replying to you directly. And I always keep people's queries and information completely confidential. And that is the way I will always operate. So please do understand when you're contacting me, it's me you're getting directly. So thank you for your patience with allowing me to explain myself and just to more publicly be, you know, putting it out there that, you know, I will be on maternity leave at the end of the month. And apologies again, if you're waiting on me to get back to you, I will reply and I will do my best to make sure that you've got the support that you need, even if I can't see you directly. On that note, I do have a lady, Kari, or Kerry, apologies, I've got a lady, Kerry in Florida. Kerry, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Kerry, how can I help you? Did you have a query you wanted to run by me for a reading? How can I help you? Um, just whatever is for my highest and best. Um, I don't have a certain subject or anything. No problem, Kerry. Let me just shuffle the tarot deck for you as well, as well as tuning into you clairvoyantly. I do utilize the tarot as well. So give me two moments just to do a general spread for you, just to see what advice I can offer. Thank you. Now, Kerry, I'll just go straight into the reading. Definitely in the recent past, there has been difficulties that you have overcome. And right now, you are asking me about what is in alignment with your highest good because of the difficulties that you've been through. So definitely the advice card here and the present advice card here I have is the star card, which is definitely urging you to take this time out to really focus on your gifts and your talents and definitely what you invest in yourself is what you will get out. But one area that I do want you to be careful of, and this is hidden influences, is some of the difficulties do seem to be related to health in the past. So why I have cards here showing me that there isn't any ill health on the way because of what you've been through in the past health wise you do have to be mindful of the fact that you can't burn the candle on both ends so the advice okay. really is to look into your gifts and your talents and go do you know what i'm now feeling more on track i am feeling better I am feeling more stable and more aligned. Now that I've got this foundation of things being better for me, and now that I have this space, what do I want for me? You know, what talent and gift do I want to invest in for me? And make time to pursue that. You've got full permission from the powers that be, and it's in alignment with your highest good right now to do something for you that you want to do for you. But please be mindful not to bite off more than you can chew. So like that, don't try to do three different things at once. You know, don't try to, um, you know, force yourself into doing lots all at once. But definitely do start making some headway, investigating your gifts and your talents. And on that note, did you have a more direct question out of this for me? Um, no. Like that in terms no, of gifts or talents, no problem. So in terms of gifts and talents, definitely the likely outcome card here is the Queen of Wands. 
which does denote someone who would be interested in pursuing and understanding more about spirituality and spiritual matters. So like that, please do pursue anything healthy and professional that speaks to you in that manner. But I'll say it one more time. Please don't do too much at once. So if you do decide okay. to do a course, just have it be one course at a time. If you do decide to uh, start something, have it be just one thing. Because there is a bit of lingering issue over not pushing yourself too much at the moment. Is that okay? Yes, that's, that's good, yes. Perfect, Kerry. It was a pleasure connecting with you. If you did want to connect with me through social media, the easiest way to do that is through my website. So please do feel free to follow me on any of my social media pages through my website, www.chloefolan.com. It was a pleasure connecting with you. Have a good evening. Thank you so much. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. And we have Abigail in Texas in USA. Abigail, can you hear me? Yes. Abigail, how can I help you? Yes, I'm concerned about my career. About your career. Okay. Is this a query in terms of do you want me to have a look to see if it would be appropriate for a career change or if you stay in your current work? Do you have a more direct question around career that I can help you with? Um, is it, Should I do a career change? Because I've been teaching for 18 years and I'm tired and I'm ready to okay. do a career change. No problem, Abigail. Give me a few moments to tune in to you and your <clears throat> query and I will use the tarot cards as well. Two moments, please. Okay. Now, Abigail, this is very interesting. I'm drawing a few cards for you. I'm nearly doing what's called an annual spread because definitely I want to draw more cards just to get an idea month to month what's happening here for you. Definitely, number one, I do advise a career change. I really do. But like that, I can see from the card spread and from tuning into you that this needs to be done in a methodical manner. So like that, I would also advise taking a bit of time off if you can. So my advice would be, yes, you do need a break from your current career, but like that, do it at a time where it's not going to put you under financial pressure. So I do believe you might have to wait for an October, November. You might have to wait until December to start to, to do that. But definitely, if you can do that without putting yourself under financial pressure, do look at taking a bit of a break from teaching in the month of December, but do also see if you can take a little bit of time off if possible. I know sometimes that's not doable for financial reasons, but if you can at all take about a month off or even two before jumping into another job, I would advise that. So work right up until December. If you can, save and then take about a month or two off. And then in the following year, so that would bring us up to March. Definitely then in March of next year, then do have a look into a different career. So like that, do you have some qualifications in law or anything to do? I know you just said you're a teacher, but with the teaching skills and qualifications that you have, have you ever looked in to see if any of your qualifications do, do give I have you a any foundation? What? Uh, any qualifications in law? In law? Yes, in the legal profession. No. 
No, no, no. What I wanted to do is have a master's in, <coughs> in communication. A and master's they have in this position available at another college. And it's to be a director over a Title V grant. And that's the position okay. I want. And, and is it that pays starting more money. In, and I need that job. <laughs> and is that starting in March of next year? It'll start in March of next year. Is that when the job's starting? Because that's when I'm seeing you in a new role, is in March of next year. No, it starts like um, as soon as possible. <clears throat> Like that, I'm going to do another spread just to see if that's the job you get because I'll say it again, I'm not seeing a big job change until March. So I just want to do another spread because from what I can see, it's March, you land in a new role. Now, maybe they'll trial you first or maybe when you get that job, it then leads to something else in March. But definitely, I'm not seeing a big significant job change until March of next year. So let me just do another quick spread to see if this particular job is the job you get. I'm not too sure if it is, but that doesn't mean that that other job in March won't be just as good. And it right. does seem to be a job that does more involve uh, legal work. So it's not that it still wouldn't be kind of what you've just described to me, but it does seem to be a little more aligned with law and working with law and working with the legal system in some respect. And it's a good job. It's an extremely good job that I'm seeing in March for you in March 2020, extremely good. So like that, it's a very, very good job, very good pay, it's very solid. And from March onwards, it just goes from there, as in once you get that job in March 2020, things are a lot smoother, you're a lot happier, you're far less stressed, even though obviously a bigger job comes with more responsibility but it's a job you're happy and it's a job that's more rewarding. So definitely there's work in March that you are going to be extremely happy with that you will get. I just want to do a very quick spread to see if you do end up getting this job you're talking about now. Two moments, please. I think it would lead to something else, Abigail. I keep being shown that I was shown it in the last spread and I'm being shown it again in this spread. And even tuning in clairvoyantly, I keep being shown redirection. So like that, my advice is, my goodness, still go for this job and put your best foot forward and go for the interview and put your best foot forward. But it's not straightforward that it's this job that you get. There is redirection being involved here. And once again, I'm seeing the redirection that comes in leading into you getting a better job in March 2020. So there is redirection here. Still go for the job, still go for the interview, but it's redirection. It's redirection. It, it, this will not be the job you have in March. And I believe that through you pursuing this particular job, it's a different one that you do get. So like that, I, even though that might sound a bit disappointing, in the long run, it's not. If you get what I'm saying, sometimes some, something can happen and we can initially go, oh, for goodness sake, that's such a disappointment. That's very odd. Why did that happen? But then when things have a chance to play out, we turn around and go, do you know what? That was brilliant. Do you know what I mean? That, that, that it's one of these situations where it just needs a couple of weeks, a couple of months to fully play out to show you that there is something better coming for you. So like that, do not be disappointed if you don't get this exact job. There is redirection going on here and something else will come out of this that will lead into you being in a better job in March 2020. So I'll say it again, there is redirection here. And it's positive redirection, even though it might not initially feel like that. 
Did you have I don't any, have any experience in law? <clears throat> I don't have a degree in law. Like that, you won't need a degree or anything like that in law. This job that I'm seeing in March, and even with the redirection going on, means working with law. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be qualified in law, but it will put you in closer rapport with people that are working in law and the legal profession. And don't forget as well that quite often when someone hires you, if they do need you to upskill, they will pay for you to do any type of upskilling that's needed. So that's possibly why I'm also seeing this as a positive because, you know, that's really nice to have a workplace that not only is giving you a great opportunity, but will also, you know, fund anything extra they want you to do as part of the job. So please don't worry about that. Please don't feel like you've got to go out and get a qualification. Don't do anything right now other than go for the interview and see what plays out. You don't have to do anything other than wait to receive what's coming. And I guarantee you, once you're in that job, anything that's needed, the company will provide. You don't have to worry about it. And sometimes companies wow. do do that. They will hire people that have the basic experience they're looking for. They'll wait to make sure you're a good fit. They'll give you a three-month trial. If you're a good fit, then they will pay for your training. Sometimes places will do that. They don't want somebody who has already been there and done that. They want someone trained their way, if you get what I'm saying. Sometimes people think that you, you know, you've got to have sometimes more qualifications and sometimes that can go against you because if a firm thinks or if a company thinks or an organization thinks that you're completely set in your ways already, then it might not be the best fit for them. There are companies out there that will deliberately find someone that's smart enough for the role, that can do the basics of the role, but isn't set in their ways to the point they can't then train them the way they want. Am I making sense? Yes. So like that, redirection is key here. What you're going to be experiencing over the next couple of weeks is redirection. Please do not go out and feel like you've got to pay for a legal course. You do not see where this takes you. Go for the interview. Don't be disappointed when redirection comes in. March 2020, you'll be in a really good job and any other extra qualifications you need will be provided through the company. Uh, okay. All righty, because I was really, like, depending on this job here because I would love it. You know, it's dealing with Hispanic and it's all about retaining them, having them like enroll in classes, do training, you know, and it pays well seventy thousand. And I'm like making that, forty-seven. Still, still go for the interview. Still enjoy the experience, but I guarantee you it will be redirection that will be coming in. So if you don't get that exact job, please don't be worried. It will lead to something else. So don't panic okay. if you don't get it. it. It will lead to something else. And it could be that you do a little bit of that work and then get brought into different employment. So all I'm saying is this job that we're talking about is not the job I'm seeing you get next month even. And it's not the job I'm seeing you in in March 2020. But still go because of the chain reaction that will happen, that will lead you into the job I'm seeing for you in March 2020, that will tick all the boxes and be better than what you were expecting. Okay. Wow. So like that, okay. still go, enjoy, but don't panic when redirection comes in. Enjoy the okay. interview. Go, make the most of it, and just see where it goes and let the redirection okay. take you where it needs to be. So if I get the job, should I take it? If it's offered to you, yes, but I'll say it again. I am not seeing you in that job in March 2020. It leads on okay. to something else. So it's okay. not if you do get offered it, 
take it, but it's not the job I'm seeing you in in March 2020. Okay. Re right. Redirection. Redirection. Your career is going to get redirected over the next couple of months. Just go with the redirection. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Perfect, Abigail. Enjoy an interesting couple of weeks and months. It was a okay, pleasure connecting you, with you. Ms. Ireland. You're very Have welcome. Doing, okay? mm -hmm. Same to bye you. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. Like that, I just want to extend a big thank you to everybody who has called in for live mini guidance readings and just to let people know as well, but because I am heavily booked out until I go on leave at the end of the month. If you do want to receive a mini guidance reading with me, the best way to do that would be through the show. So if you would like to call in to Raypath Productions, please do mark it on the calendar to tune into A1R Psychic Radio or Moonstruck TV. It's on A1R Psychic Radio that they give the details for how to call into the show for a, for a live mini guidance reading. So I, it will be this week and then two more weeks. So in the next two shows, if you want to contact me, please do make sure that you do tune in. It will be Tuesday, Tuesday evening, 10.30 p.m. Irish time zone, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And in between, if you do want to follow me on social media, please do so through my website, www.chloefolan.com. Even though I can't provide appointments right now before I go on maternity leave, please feel free to drop me an email if you've got any queries and I'll do my best to help and I'll do my best to provide as much support as I can. And I will be back after my maternity leave and Ray Path Productions will be resuming as well after my maternity leave. So please do tune into the next two shows. Over the next two Tuesday evenings, it will be the last opportunity to contact me for little mini guidance readings and to connect with me in this way before maternity leave. 